We have another beautiful day today, so we're gonna do another working lunch. So we're gonna get as much as we can done during Nate's lunch break so we can work while the ground is dry, it's warm, it's not frozen, and who knows when another snowstorm's gonna come and just dump tons of snow over here. So we're really trying to take advantage of this beautiful weather that we have. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. What's our goal for this lunch break? Because <coughs> we need to put boards along here vertically to support this section here and on the other side. River, you're gonna get squashed. <laughs> oh, now she's eating. I'm just remembering that we ordered the windows for this coop and then we built it. And so we actually haven't tested out if the windows are gonna actually fit. If there's one thing, you know, that what the dimensions online I hope are true. If they're true, then it'll be just fine. But I'm gonna go ahead and open that package of windows that we got and see if it does fit. open so it'll let some good airflow in and yeah you can just slide that back down so let's go see if they'll fit We won't be attaching the windows until after we get the siding in place. So you put the siding on, you attach the windows, and then you put the trim around the windows. But I just wanted to double check. We hadn't even opened our box yet, so I didn't know if we even had broken windows or not. So. We had this compost pile dumped here before we even moved into our house and it was bigger than we thought and it got dumped outside our property and we should have been scooping from the back and so that the pile was still left in our property but I guess then it would have been in the way of our coop anyway once we get the coop finished and the run finished it'll be even more difficult to get to this pile of compost so we're going to dig it up quick shovel it over just about 10 to 15 feet and put it in a pile over here most of our compost is clear in the back, but I don't want to lug each load over there. And we'll definitely use up this pile next spring, like the whole thing, finishing out all the rest of the rows of the garden. So we just want to get it out of the way for now. And so we don't have to worry about it being out of our property or in the way of the chicken coop. Whoa. So most of the time when I see a, a person's pile of compost, it looks like dark and rich in color. 
and ours doesn't really look like that and it didn't even look like that when it first came and I wonder if part of that is because this compost is part compost and part I think they said sand and then a little bit of topsoil all mixed together because they told us that it would be too hot if we just got straight up compost and so I was fine with that so the dirt here is just this red dirt and so and we have the sand red sandy soil as well so I guess with that mixed in with the compost it looks more lighter in color than like a deep rich compost when we lived in Virginia the soil there was just really dark in general and it was probably a lot more, <laughs> a lot more I guess nutritious nutritious is that the word a lot more I had a lot more like nutrients in the soil which I guess I've heard that before that places that are arid have lower soil quality and that's definitely where we live and higher humid places have better soil quality so we are definitely not working with the best soil and probably even the best compost that there is out there but this is what we have to work with We only have like a tiny bit left. It's just this little pile over there, but my back is starting to hurt a little bit. So I always want to be really careful with that, especially when I'm pregnant and I'm getting hungry. So we're going to go and have a snack and then finish it up. I also really relied on my two oldest, oldest daughters to help me lift and dump the dirt. They did actually a ton and one of them, she was kind of done. So without her, I, I can't dump that by myself. So. We're gonna take a little family break and then hopefully we can just scoop that last little bit up and be done for the night with that. I've been wanting to get that pile moved pretty much since the summer, so this feels really good to get that done. You gotta dump it before you pump it up though. Uh, that tire keeps going flat on us. We have bad luck with tires. I filled that up, but my crew left so I couldn't dump it. It's really difficult. There's a flat tire. Fortunately, we will not need to rely on other people for compost, hopefully, in the future. I, we've already started a compost pile. That's the first thing we did when we moved here. And we've already got started on our second pile. So this might be an inconvenient place, but we are going to, if you can see, our garden. I've got the black tarp out there on part of it. It's out there, and we're gonna put rows from all the way there, all the way to here. Just right up against this spot. We still need to fill in this trench. So we will definitely need all of this compost to help amend all of those rows. When we were first creating our garden rows, if you remember, we just did every single one by hand and it took so long just to do one row like an hour so we're gonna hope to try to figure out if we can find a machine that will just make those rows for us and so we don't have to do that but we'll see <laughs> whoa whoa look out <laughs> that's gonna get you the last little bit oh my goodness this will probably be the last load so it would it, we were guessing I guess four more loads. I get I you guess, guess two. Um I guess and then I guess like two to three. So. And I guess I guess four, you guess two. And I'm guessing it's three. And then we've just been barely moving it over to right there. And our, our chicken run will be right here. And then we'll get more progress done on the coop. Why don't you get a shovel buddy and try to make the pile all into one again? That's what we were trying to do, like ramp it up, but it kind of just hits the side. The last load. Hazel, it was three more loads. We guessed, remember you guessed two, I guessed four. I mean, um, and you guys... No, eight. I guessed two to three. I guess oh, well, two you to can't three. guess two numbers. <laughs> <laughs> And then we'll be able to work more on our coop. It is such a nice day to notch it out.
getting one side up. We had to trim or cut out notches. It's really hard. It's good though. It is another beautiful day and we are gonna just keep taking advantage of these beautiful days, doing some work each day during lunch. We got the back wall all finished last night. We worked neat, mostly worked in the dark. And so it's looking more and more like a building. Oh, really? Oh, that'll be awesome. We're just measuring how much of the siding will be able to go all the way up. And I think it'll go most of the way. Yeah, it'll go all the way. All the, way. the siding is yeah. just the right size for our <laughs> shed, our coop. That, right? I did not plan that. I just thought eight by eight sounds good, but two pieces of siding fit perfectly on that side. And then the, how tall the siding is, perfect to go all the way up. I mean, yes, I planned all of that. I thought that far ahead when choosing how big the coop would be. Is this in the way? No! <laughs> okay. So as we were getting up each siding piece, we kind of got a system. I was able to find just a two by four and shove it underneath the board and have it be able to just sit on that board so it'll be the perfect height to match up with all the other siding board pieces as we went. So Nate would lift the giant board over and then I would quickly slide the two by four under and then once we got it adjusted perfectly, I would hold it in place as tight as I could so he could just drill Here. that in. Hazel! So bright. <laughs> Your poor eyes. This board is like a mirror. I think it's not white. But remember, Dad, Great, we've secured it. Now we're going to try to do cut out the window and the top. You know what? You could put like one of those attachments that go on a massage gun. <laughs> Get a and massage gun. This would be like a lot better massage gun. <laughs> High power. <laughs> no, huh? <laughs> So we are building this coop a lot sooner than when we are expecting chicks. We might pick up some hens or we might not before then, or, but we'll just have to see. But it has been really nice to be able to build a project without a serious deadline anytime soon. I feel like the second we moved into this house back in May, we had deadlines of plants coming, trees coming, the growing season coming just it just felt like we every task or every project that we did we only had just this tiny amount of time so we had to work really hard to get it done and it felt a little bit more stressful obviously I enjoyed the process but it was more rushed than I was hoping and you know moving in in May is kind of the worst time to move in when it comes to getting a garden ready and everything especially on just this virgin soil so this has been very, very pleasant to build. We have just come out when we can, get it done when we can. And with it being winter, our evenings aren't as productive as they are normally in the summer. So we just get them in when we can. And my sweet husband does as much as he can in the spare time that he can. But we still don't kill ourselves to get it done immediately. So that has been something that's actually been really nice. I do feel a little bit of pressure getting it done before any major winter storm comes again. But if it does, I think we'll be able to work on it again. But when it dries out a little bit, again, we have plenty of time. So it just feels really good to not have that pressure right away. So we have just a little bit more time of daylight left, so we're going to see if we can get the other wall put up before dinner. So just quick work. I don't feel like I do a whole lot. I just stabilize it and then Nate kind of drills things in and cuts the pieces out, but he still needs my help for that. But so we got the whole crew out here again and we're going to see how much we can get done. 
One thing that I've really enjoyed with working in the winter, and it's not something that I even anticipated at all, was that, you know, we are working with less daylight, but it's been really fun to work as the sun is setting each night. We get some amazing sunsets where we live just setting over the mountain on the other side and we can see it so well from our back property. And so it's been fun to be building and just watch that beautiful glow. It's been a really nice day, but as soon as the sun goes down, it gets really cold really fast. So we're all starting to shiver a little bit, but this is our last board. And then I'm gonna head in and make dinner for everybody. So you'll have to saw the, for the window and the uh, roosting box, and then also cross the top. What is it? Match. As soon as I helped Nate get this last sideboard up, I got the kids inside and quickly began dinner. People were getting hungry really fast. Today was a day we used up the last of our potatoes. We just had a couple small ones left at the bottom, so my son and I helped we sliced them up to make a Zupa Toscana type soup. If you've ever been to Olive Garden, it's kind of a copycat of that. So we had our homegrown potatoes, homegrown onions. This is the kale I harvested over the summer and froze. Our homegrown kale and homemade bone broth with some Italian sausage cooked in. And this is one of my favorite soups that we have over the winter. Add a little bit of whole cream or milk in there just to add a little bit more creaminess and it is so good and this was the first time that most of the meal most of this soup has been from our own property and that was fun Woo! and there you have it our third wall down one more to go we'll see you next week